Hello everyone, welcome to Sunburn. I want to play this Ace Attorney Trilogy. Episode 47. We just got done with the last episode. We're starting episode 3 fresh. Super duperly fresh. Now everybody's warned me about this episode. is like the worst case in the entire trilogy. We'll see about that. We'll see about that, won't we? Opinions can be different. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. The world's greatest magician. The one, the only. Maximilian Galactica. Okay. Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear and a tiger that jumped through the ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball, not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Yeah, Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A ma magician? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick? Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. We will just never decide on a pearl voice. I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Korain Village. And it was during that trying time that I met pearls. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Ah, uh, it's time to go. You're right, we can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remember the train? Of course I did! But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's gotta be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You were going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I'm glad you will get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Pearly, look, it's time to go. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick! Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Hello, this is the Ride and Co. Law Office. Nick, it's t terrible! Ah, Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here, too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? Now let's check into the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The very... I mean, the very big circus? That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Uh, arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. All right, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh, what? See you there. You've still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? All right, let's do it. 
What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing! Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! What's with all this fabulous talk? Welcome to the visitor's room! It's Max! Nick, look! It's the real Maximilian Galactica! All right, sweetie, pick a card, any card! He, he called me sweetie! Oh, Nick! <laughs> Time's running out, sweetie, pick a card, any card! This one! Uh-huh, I thought you would pick that one, sweetie! The Ace of Hearts! Okay, we gotta make him less, like, deep and more sort of like Miles Edgeworth on heroin or like cocaine a little bit. Or just like, like if he was a completely different person, you know what I mean? Ah, he got it! He got it! Nick, look, he got it! What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions! One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts! Max... <sighs> well... Time to make this an absolutely fabulous time! Max, you should let Nick pick a card! <sighs> I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are? Oh, how silly of me! You must be Sweetie's driver! Her driver? Whatever! Hurry up and pick a card! Any card! Um, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous! Absolutely fabulous! Thank you so much! Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Oh, oh, oh yes! Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe-inducing. Okay, how should we do you? Absolutely fabulous, darling. Fabulous indeed. Hmm. I don't know, like a slight David Bowie thing going on? I just don't remember what David Bowie's voice sounds like. I watched that episode of Extras that he was on. That was like a couple months ago, though. Fat Man! Or however that song went. I don't know, let's try this. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better, too! Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Jeebus, what in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear! What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head, get it straight! Jeez, people nowadays, they get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed! It was fabulous! I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fa- I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world! I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. You are signed to an exclusive contract with the Berry Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know? Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus... It's a dinosaur. Ah, oh, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. 
That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revive the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. Tell me what happened at the Berry Big Circus. Ah, last night, the Ringmaster was murdered. The Ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the Ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening, in his room. So then, why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back to reality. Before the murder, you met with the Ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the Ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. Uh, we were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Yes. That's all you talked about? Of course! It was a fabulous chat! Oh, we got that Cyclock thing. Oh wow, it takes three of them. Just fabulous, I mean, ugh. Now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Well, we're gonna, where else are we gonna go? We don't have any evidence. But there's no, nowhere else we can move. Meeting with Russell. Last night, you met with the Ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such? Exactly! We reached an agreement about the salary for my six-month-old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary? I hate lies, and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Jeebus. What's the matter? Sweetie, you must have some wax build up in your ears. You haven't listened to me at all. Huh? You're still not listening, are you? I said that I hate lies. It seems this evidence isn't enough to make him confess. You want to try again? It doesn't bother me at all. They wouldn't let me do anything else, so what do you want me to do here? I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Oh, you don't say. There's nothing else to talk to him about. What if I just present him with my attorney badge? What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time. Max, you're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? B because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the Barry Big Circus. And that means I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max. 
quit choking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. <laughs> Look at Max, he's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um... Um... Yes? P Porky... I, I mean, sir... You're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm an attorney. Please, help me! I didn't kill nobody! Didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? Uh, that's insane! I, I, I could never! Max? I, I swear, I, I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Really? Really? Uh, thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Um, Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Johns. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. <clears throat> I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Um, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How'd he... He got it right again! What can I say? You, too. You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts! You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case! Come on, Nick! When you make absolutely fabulous magic, it costs enormous sums of money. Sums that will boggle your mind. But we still don't have any evidence. That's why you went to his room that night? I went to ask him for a fabulous raise. I wonder how people can lie with such a straight face. Okay. Oh, now we can go. Okay, here we go. We're here again. Yep, but this time we're here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Look, look, it's Max! Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right in front of you. Sure, the sign says Berry Big Circus, but looking around, it might as well be Cirque de Galactica. The stars on his cheeks sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. Nah, nah, it's all right. It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks, not to mention candy and popcorn. They've even got snow cones. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? I would, I want one right now. Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Look around, there's tons of snow piled up all around here. Yay! Wait a second. There's no syrup, though. I want syrup! Hopefully she doesn't notice that discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup. Nope, somebody peed on that snow. Hmm, this door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. I bet all the stars say that at lodging house. Oh, stay at the lodging house. This is the box office, where they sell all the tickets for the circus. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. So then why don't you buy one now? Hmm, sounds like a plan. Oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. If you want me to buy it for you, just ask me already. You know I'd never do that to you, Nick. Yeah, right. Nick, the entrance is right here. Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that. Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dolly the Elephant. There's no Dolly, not today. I know that too. Oh well, 
I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. <sighs> it's not like we're here on business or anything. Oh damn, Big Top and the lodging house? Let's go lodging house. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into that stoogy clown here, right? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Oh, it's you. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. How is it you guys always seem to know when I'm working a crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, Detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained! <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Of course, it will be Miss Von Karma. Ah, uh, she isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure Miss Von Karma is really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth? What in the world happened after I went back home? Um, Mr. Edgeworth? You haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? N Nick? The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. Pretty sad way to go out if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you were standing now. Ah! Ha ha ha! Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing! S excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yeep! It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But... But? There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! There's always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under the body? No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And... and what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there! Bingo. Where did the killer come from and where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. A flying culprit? That's when something just clicked in my head. There's no way! Flying is impossible! That's right! Flying is impossible! Absolutely impossible! <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? Uh, I meant nothing by it, pal. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Present him with Max's profile. Age 21, get out of here, dude. No. This dude's 40. Come on. It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Hmm, he's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude. I've got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. 
A made-to-order hat that is a symbol of Max's fabulousness. Found at the crime scene. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they're easy to understand. I must have hit a nerve. That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Huh? To tell us about the eyewitness. Uh, um, so about the eyewitness. Ho, 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 you know I'm not going to tell you about that. That's the prosecution's trump card. Hmm, oh well. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. Well, why is that? Oh, uh, no reason. Just something I remember to tell you. It must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Uh, don't you dare, pal. Oh, but we dare. And we're gonna. Of course it's someone named Mo. I wonder whose room this is. The name tag on the door says Mo on it. I guess he's not here. Wow, it's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. Oh well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. Aw, oh, man. But there's still so much to examine. Tee, <laughs> clown equipment is so funny looking. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle. He's even got a trampoline. But they're all broken. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice? Who knows with that guy? Maybe that's part of the gag? Mo seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books he has here. Clowns for dummies, the jokes on you, treat your peons right, and the classic funny jokes are funny. Wow, Mo is very studious. The joke's on you, huh? All those clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. It must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? She better not want me to try one of those on. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. In our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. No clues here. Oh, yeah, okay. Moe's got an excellent pair of pajamas, laid on his bed in an excellent manner. What? Those are pajamas? You mean he goes to bed dressed as a clown? Ew. Awesome! Look at these shoes! They're great! Forget the shoes. Check out the great gag banana peel. You sure it wasn't Mo's snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. Huh. Guess we gotta go to the big top first. God, my throat hurts. <laughs> yeah, the voices seem a little dry this episode. It's, my throat's like burning right now. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? <laughs> huh, Nick? It wasn't me. <laughs> Tiger! Uh, he's coming this way! Grrrr, Oh! Nick! You're too young to die! Nick! Stay! Stay! Heal! I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick! Nick, are you okay? <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Who are you? Oh, you're not. Nope, that's not that voice. Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter me? Nick, he almost died there. Ha! He wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? 
You agree, don't you? I guess. What? What do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! Huh? It's cute! I want to try it on! C costume You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best! Wow, the tables turn quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name's Maya Fay. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we really look odd. Nice to meet ya. Uh, likewise. Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, what did she just say? So, the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent, so she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regen isn't scary, he's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regen has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion, Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon, he died? Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Huh. This silk hat is Max's. That's right. It's beautiful, isn't it? I thought of the idea for wearing the hat. Huh, really? Yep, he took my sketch to the hat shop, and they made a custom hat for him based off the sketch. There is only one of these silk hats in the entire world! Isn't that cool? What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard th Oh, you're not good at figuring out your dad ass up uh, on top of a chest? Okay. Says I never expected Maya to make a new friend. <sighs> Alright. Seems like we need to go back now. Back to the lodging house. And then back to Moe's room. No? What if we present Regina's prof- Oh, you're 16, huh? Alright. I've gotten affidavits from most of the performers at this circus. They are certainly a strange bunch of characters. You don't say. Well, not stranger than you, I suppose. That was cold. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I was just messing around. Oh, this is Russell. Wow, he looks disgusting. Regina Berry's father. He's 52 and she's 16? Dude, he gave, or he had her when he was like, what, 36? It's pretty old, man. I mean, it's not terribly old, but it's pretty old. Oh, what if I present you with her file? Oh, I present you with his profile, I guess. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Okay. 
Okay, well, thank you for that info. This was the ringmaster's room? Yes, this room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, this is what he said. Or that is what he said. I wonder what... Hmm, that's an interesting poster. Ah, it's a poster of Max! I want it! I want it! Nick, I want it! I want to get out of here. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Maya, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But, but, you didn't even notice that I took one. Ah, uh, she already swiped one. Heh, <laughs> You're incorrigible, you know that? Emblazoned with Max's three favorite symbols. Really? Look at all the stars on this poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote their public appearances. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make posters to promote our law firm. Spine-tingling legal action. Mind-numbing legalese. You will say, wow. Or perhaps, hold it. Don't miss out on a stunning life-or-death courtroom thrill ride. With those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Hmm. What? A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Ah, uh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Uh, go rummaging through people's coats. What are you talking about? This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. It's quite a collection of the most understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it is 100% all-natural organic mascara. And this one says, sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skin care. Very metrosexual. Nick, look at all the photos lined up on the wall. It's like a guided tour of the circus's history. This is so cool! It seems like there were so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing at our office. We can put up pictures of all the clients who have been found not guilty. And what if we had a client who was found guilty? Um, we'll just pretend like they didn't exist. How's that? Nick, now you've got me thinking about losing cases. Why'd you do that? Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed. Just look at all the awards this circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions. Ringmasters Association Mini Golf Master. Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ. Pet Grooming Grand Prix. Wow, the Ringmaster was multi-talented in ways I could have never imagined. It's a table for guests. There's some papers scattered on top. Ah, look at this. Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes! What is it? I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible! She looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Th that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise, but this document is dated a week ago. Huh. This was the table he used when visitors came to see him. Ew, there's mud caked on the table. Someone with terrible manners must have put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about it. I wasn't. How uncouth do you think I am, anyway? This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. It's a picture of Regina and her father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. But she doesn't give a shit that he's dead. All of these frames look the same. They almost look like thank you cards. It looks like every year the ringmaster made donations to charity. To the Robot Clown Research Center. You're kidding, right? What? They may be a perfectly reputable charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. Damn. 
Okay, so Ringmaster's Papers, that would get us, you know, past one of his locks. Max's Magatama stuff. Maybe the promo poster would also. Maybe the silk hat would. Maybe the crime scene photo. Well, now that we've been here, we should be able... Let's talk about this. this. Oh, you don't know anything about that? All right. What about... We well, shouldn't show you the poster. I'm swiping it. Oh, it lets me check it. Green feather, white roses. Okay, that is a green feather. And pink hat, right? Purple hat, whatever. This does seem a bit more of a brighter purple, but I don't think it makes that much difference. Circus entrance. Alright, let's see if Mo's around, huh? He's still not? The hell else am I supposed to do? No, I can't tell you about the evidence we've gathered. Stingy, stingy. When you put it so bluntly, it kind of hurts my feelings, pal. Okay, so I have to use any performer, you just, that's how it is. And you'd say the same thing, huh? Huh. What to do? Can't present you with anything else. The only other person to talk to is Regina again. Try to get her to open up a little bit more about stuff that's going on. But you didn't like the Ringmaster's papers or any of this stuff. I guess we never examined this place. Whoa, those lights are huge! I love lights! Whenever I appear under the spotlight, everyone claps for me! That's because everyone knows that you're cute! No, I'm not cute, you're cute! Me? Of course! I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine! Really? You think so? Nick, did you hear that? Me, a heroine! What about Nick, Regina? Hmm, Nick. He's no hero, is he? Ouch, thanks a lot, Maya. Look, that's where Max comes out during the show. I've got to admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of the lion during the show. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I will ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. Ah, a ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. Hey, it's a rope! Probably for tightrope walking. That's a bit strange. There weren't any tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. There doesn't seem to be anything here that can help us. Not a single clue. You know, I've been meaning to ask you. What exactly do you mean when you say clue? Like, what are you looking for? A bloody chainsaw, for instance? Well, there's definitely not one of those here. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means that lots of people can fit in the big top. He's right, we can fit 500 people into a show. 500? That's amazing. Flying around above that many people is a real rush. At least that's what Max said. presented everything to you, unless I didn't present the poster. I did not. Okay, so you can't help me anymore. I just, it's like, we there's no way we can get through the three Magatamas of Max's. 
with the stuff that we have here. There must be something else. Already looked at that. Well, why don't you like? Why don't you take that piece of paper? They specifically were even talking about it. I don't understand a man. What am I supposed to do? Why did I go back here? That was an accident. Back to the circus entrance. The very big top is so very bi <coughs> enormous. Yep, one look at the huge tent looming over you and you realize this is the circus. I know, I know. It really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? It really doesn't, actually. But maybe that's just because I've never been to a circus and I have no interest in being in going to a circus. You know what I was saying? Dude. Have I presented you with everything? Alright, you can't tell about the evidence. Can't tell me about any of these people. Please. Oh my god, dude, where are you? Is he, like, hiding in something? He is a clown, I would not be surprised. But they specifically said I'm not allowed in here because, like, this is where he... W oh, hello. Look at the ceiling. It looks like someone punched a hole in it. You're right. I wonder what happened. Hmm, I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. What the... There's a string of carrots here. How strange. The carrots seem to come in all different shapes. Weird. I can't tell if Mo just likes carrots or if he is using them for some sort of gag. Nick, you can see the scene of the crime from here. You can even tell that the ground has been disturbed. It's right in front of this window, about 30 feet away. I guess it wouldn't have been strange for someone to have seen the crime from here. Yes, that's all very interesting. My PS4 sounds like it's about to die. Just that fan, man. Like, it gets so overheated. And we're moving back to the detention center. Okay. Max isn't here. He must be in questioning. Aw, uh, I wanted to see a magic trick. He should be back in a little bit. I guess so. Hello? This guard monitors the visitor's room. I wonder if he's bored. He doesn't even try to glance over this way. Alright, we've got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking. Let's get going. Okay. Huh? What's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica. Who would have guessed he was a country bumpkin? So now what do we do? Huh? There's still lots of things we can do. Go to the scene of the crime, talk to witnesses, gather evidence. Yeah, I guess you're right. We still didn't even know what happened in the first place. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. I could have sworn I've heard that before. Well, we never have enough information! Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. That's weird that that would trigger it when, like... I don't know, like, nothing... There's nothing... Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.